What's up you guys, Jason Ward up here. In this video, I'm gonna break down the number one Facebook ads targeting solution to go through and run for your business. Now, I really wanna address this today because guys, so many people are freaking out with Facebook taking away the kind of like existing interest targeting solutions with like homeowners or different specific targeting things, which honestly guys, it, it really doesn't even matter. And really quick guys, just some housekeeping, I just wanna kinda of get this out of the way. As you guys can see here on my screen, I am wrapping up, I'm working on a Facebook ads live train for you guys that I'm gonna be doing next Wednesday, so Wednesday, July 18th at 12 p.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific time. So mark that down on your guys' calendars. Also, I'll add a link down below in the description as well as in the comments that you guys can go through and register for that because um, I share a lot of my channel different Facebook ad strategies, but I think it'll be beneficial to break down some of the things that I do, like the exact strategies I, I use, and also be able to do it live so you guys can ask me questions and I can kind of give you feedback and answers and let you guys kind of know what I'm doing on a daily basis. So if you guys want to attend that, there's a link down below to register for that training in the description as well as in the comments. And if you guys are watching this after July 18th, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are because that's in about a week and a half, um, I'll add the link to the replay to that training so you guys can go through, watch that, and still take advantage of everything. Now, let's dive into this, guys. So this is the th this image right here. Well, I've got this pulled up. This is a little segment that um, is part of that live training. And you look at like the red ocean versus the blue ocean. And this is really like what I want to break down and explain to you guys when it comes to Facebook ads targeting. So when you're going through and you're targeting with Facebook's interests, so you're targeting homeowners, or you're targeting real estate agents, or you're targeting like weight loss, or people interested in fitness, that's a red ocean, guys. Like there are so many people that go in, like Facebook's made it super easy to go through, create an ads campaign, and then you know you go and choose your targeting, you choose the age group, you choose all that stuff. But with it being so easy, you're literally in a red ocean just competing with everyone else out there. Okay, so the strategy I want to show you guys in today's video is taking over to the blue ocean, right? Like this is, I don't even ever use Facebook ads, interest targeting or any of those little demographics, anything like that in my ads. And when I tell people that even like advanced Facebook marketers are like, what the, like, what, what do you even do? Like how, how is that possible that you don't use interest targeting? Okay. Now there, there's a thing that's called look alike audiences. And if you guys have heard of look alike audiences, this is going to be a very different video. It's going to be a lot more unique than you probably have even heard or thought before. Um, so just keep that in mind. But this is going to take you from that red ocean of competing with literally every other person out there that's advertising on Facebook to this blue ocean. Now also guys is a special favor to you guys. I was talking with my brother. He watched my channel too and he's kind of just like starting a business. He's got his Facebook guys and all that stuff. And he says sometimes I go way too fast to explain things. So I'll try to go a little bit slower. I'll try to go through, break down everything step by step. And for those of you guys who are like, hey, you like that fast pace, just put it on like one and a half speed, all right? So um, let's jump over to the Facebook Ads Manager because this is really key when we're going through and setting up our Facebook ads. And actually, first, really quick, this is another slide I forgot about in the presentation. Um, this is the exact strategy of how I went through, and this is two years ago, so June of 2016. I made less than $1,500 that month for my business. And then you can see I started implementing the strategy in August. So two months later, okay, so August I did, if you can see that right there, it's probably a little small. It's a little over $8,000, okay, so that was the first month. So I went from $1,500. So in essence, I, I almost call that zero because I'm obviously with ad spend and all that stuff, you're not really making any money. And then I went up to $8,000 and then from August of 2016 to October of 2016, October 2016, I went and did over $25,000 in revenue for the month. Okay, so guys, this is a way that you can go through and grow your business extremely fast. And once again, if you guys want to jump on this live training or if you're watching the, the kind of like this later after July 18th, click down below. I'll have the registration link to go register for that live training or for the replay, whatever you want to go through and watch. So you guys can see some of these strategies broken down in a lot more detail than I've even ever covered on my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's just jump over here to Facebook. Okay, now in Facebook, what we're gonna do is come over here to the Ads Manager. Okay, now a lookalike audience, let's just break this down, right? Let's jump, actually, I've got it, another good slide. So Facebook, anyone that is um, your existing customer, so I've got like Jim right here, Jim from the office, right? 
So Jim, he's going to go through and buy something from your business, right? Or maybe you haven't, you're, you're like brand new business and so you haven't sold anything, but he's a lead or someone that's shown interest in your business, okay? Now Facebook, the cool thing is, is they literally know so much information about Jim, okay? So they know that like he's a male, the age, like if he's married or not, if he's college educated, they know how much money he's making. He knows, they know pretty much for the most part what products he's bought online because a lot of companies they'll use the Facebook pixel okay to track whether people have become leads if they purchase something and so based on what ads people are clicking on and based on what products they're purchasing Facebook's got a pretty good overall idea of what's happening okay they know like okay he likes basketball he watches the office right so they know all of this information and so now what we do is we take Jim Okay, or our existing customers or clients or leads or even people that like maybe you don't have customers yet because you're brand new or maybe you don't have leads yet because you're brand new, but people maybe that like your Facebook page or people even that have gone through and watched a video that you've posted on your Facebook page. Okay, that's like an audience of people and then what Facebook does is what we call a 1% look alike audience. So they're going to go find... 2 million people or sometimes even more that look just like Jim. Okay, so whether they're they're male, like it's not going to necessarily be only males or only females or whatever, although you can go through and target whether it's males or females, but they're going to find out, okay, what's his average, you know, salary, which it's crazy, but they actually have a lot of data on how much money you most likely make. Okay, and they know like what the products you purchase, what you like, what your behaviors are online, what links you click on, what you don't click on. They know all this information. So Facebook, they go and they create this lookalike audience of people that are very, very similar to Jim. Okay, so then what they're going to do is you go take this ad, you show it to this lookalike audience, okay, and then your ads become even more profitable because you're able to go through and scale things that much more. So if before you were going through and showing your ads just to your existing clients or your existing leads or existing database and you're spending maybe like let's say $5 a day with this because you have now an audience of 2 million plus people, you're able to go through and scale it up to $75 a day or $100 a day or $200, $500 or even $1,000 per day and so you're able to go through and make a lot more money. Okay, so hopefully that kind of like break, broke that down and, and that kind of like makes some sense. But let's jump in back over here to the Facebook Ads Manager and show you guys exactly how this actually happens. Okay, so what we're going to do is come over here to the search bar and we're going to type in audiences. You can see it's already popped up right there, but if, if it's not showing up right here, we're just going to type in audiences. Okay, because first what we need to do before we create a lookalike audience is we need to create an audience, right, that we're going to say, hey, we want to create a lookalike audience that looks like these people. So before we go through and create the lookalike audience, we need to go through and say, hey, Jim is our ideal customer, our ideal lead, our ideal client, and we want you to create 2 million people, 3 million, 4 million, whatever the number is, of people just like Jim. Okay, so basically you're going to go through and you're just going to create an audience. We'll just say custom audience right here. Okay, and then you can go through and... Uh, like customer file, you can upload their emails or their phone numbers. You can say website traffic. So if you've got a blog, if you've got a, a website, a landing page, whatever you've got, you can go through and throw the Facebook pixel on this exact website. And I'll link out to my tutorial on how to get that Facebook pixel installed because it walks you through step by step. And then you've got even engagement. Like let's say you don't have any clients, any customers whatsoever, no leads or anything, and you're just starting out brand new. You can say, hey, I want to just target people who have watched a video that I posted on my Facebook page. So let's just say that, for example, let's just say a video and then we could come in here and we say, we want to target anyone who has viewed at least, watch 25% of my video. Okay, because sometimes like three seconds of your video, it's someone just scrolling through and the video auto plays and so they're not really watching it. 10 seconds, depending on how long your video is, that can actually be a really good option if it's only a minute long. They watch 10 seconds of the 60 seconds that's a pretty good percentage of the video, but I typically like to do 25 or even 50% to get a bigger audience that then we can go through and create a lookalike audience after, okay? Because like, if you think about it, 
if we just give Facebook one data point, so basically we say, hey, only Jim, I want you to create a look like audience of people that only look like Jim, there's not really a lot of information to go off of, right? Like it, it's just that one person, whereas if you have 30 people, okay, they find the averages of what those people like, their ages, their income, their interests, all that stuff, and they're able to get you a lot better data. And then if you have 100 people or 1,000 or the more people, the easier it is to go through and get this data put together and have this uh, hotter audience that you're able to go through and market with your Facebook ads. So with that said, I like to do kind of like a 25% or 50%. So I'll just do 25% here. And then we choose the, um, the video right here, actually up here. <laughs> Sorry guys, so choose the video. So we're on to choose the Facebook page. So we'll come down here. I'll, I think I've got my main Facebook page on here. So we'll choose this. And then you can kind of look at the videos, right? So you can see the three second video views. So like if we've got these different people, we've got uh, you know 8,000 people that have watched this video. So this is probably one that I probably want to go through and create a custom audience off of because there's going to be a lot of data points. Like if there's 8,000, 8,200 video views that are three seconds, we're probably going to have you know four or five thousand people that have watched 25 percent of this video. Okay, so we're just going to go like this. We're going to choose that. We're going to hit confirm. Okay, and then we're just going to give it a name. We'll say 25 percent video view, and then I would usually do the name of video like whatever you want to call it that's kind of like what i like to do and then the nice thing is you can do like hey everyone that's watched it in the last 365 days or if you want it like more recent like hotter um market you could say hey in the last seven days last 30 days last two days even so for this one i'm just gonna actually do last 30 days because if somebody's watched this video in the last 30 days they probably at least remember it somewhat right Probably seven days or even 24 hours, 48 hours is even more ideal, but they, they probably at least remember like that they at least watched it. Whereas like if it's too long ago, if it was like 200 days ago, six months or whatever, they're probably not even going to remember you, the video or anything else. So I'm going to create this audience. And now what we do is Facebook's going to go and they're going to populate this and it's going to take a second or whatever, but we could say, hey, create an ad using this audience or expand your audience. Okay, so we're gonna click on expand your audience. And this is how we can create a look alike audience right here. So the source is the audience of everyone that's viewed the video at least 25%. Okay, I think that was actually a short video, it was like 30 seconds long. So really they didn't have to watch a lot. It's probably like 10 seconds. 10 seconds actually probably would have been a better audience to go with. And then we could say, hey, I only wanna target people in. The United States and typically what I like to do when I'm starting out is just do a 1% look like audience okay now you can scale up to 2% you can see that number went to 4.3 million the 3% to 4% but the the larger the audience the less accurate the data and typically with a 1% look like audience of you know 2.2 million people you can have your ads running for a fairly long time to that audience even spending like a hundred dollars a day and and you're still totally good like that's a pretty good size audience okay so now we're just going to go through and click create audience right here and so it's going to go through populate the audience you can see up here kind of in the background it says fewer than um, so this is the audience we just created the custom audience so 25 percent of video view there's fewer than a thousand but it's still populating okay so it's going to take a little bit of time it could take a couple hours it could take as long as 24 hours to go through and populate this audience and then um, but you don't have to wait to go through and create a look-alike audience okay so that's one thing to really keep in mind and then you can see this audience right here is updating the look-alike audience but it told us it's gonna be about 2.2 million people once it's finalized and once that audience is completely updated so we really don't have to wait to go through and create our Facebook ad campaign we can jump in and start creating an actual campaign. So I wanna show you guys exactly how I do this, how I don't use any Facebook ads, interest targeting, or any of that, um, and I'll actually set up a campaign right here with you guys. So we've got this custom audience right here, okay, that we created, we've got the lookalike audience, and if, you don't, if you've already got an audience that you wanna create a lookalike audience off of, you can just come up here and click on this, so check that, you just hit actions, and then you say create a lookalike. Okay, so that's another way to go through and do that if you're like, well, I've already got an audience and I don't really know how to do that because it's not taking me through the same flow. That's another way you can go through and do that.
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up here to this little hamburger menu. Okay, we're gonna go back to the ads manager to go through and create a Facebook ads campaign. Okay, so we're just gonna click on the screen button right here, create a campaign, makes it super simple. And then for this one, I've got all these videos guys on like which objective to use, but this is not necessarily on that specific training. So I'm not really gonna dive into all that. I'll add another video to um, kind of like what marketing objective you really wanna choose. But let's say for this one, we wanna generate leads. So we're gonna go with conversions here, okay? So we'll just click on conversions and then uh, we give it a name, okay? So we'll say conversions and we'll say it's a demo campaign because it is obviously. And now we'll hit continue. And then you can name your ad set for this one. I'm not really gonna worry about it. And then for the website, Okay, like ideally you need to go through and install your Facebook pixel. Like I said, I added a video to that up in like the little, the top corner so you guys can go through and check that out. But we'll go through and we'll choose the lead conversion right there. Okay, because we want to go through and generate leads. Then we come down here to this um, targeting. And this is typically where most people will go in here and they'll type in homeowners, right? where it's like 98 million people that are homeowners and, and the homeowners association. So a lot of these interests and demographics and all this stuff is what Facebook is taking away. And that's why so many people are completely freaking out because they're like, well, it's not going to work for real estate anymore. It's not going to work for this anymore or that anymore. And like, it, it still is, guys. It's going to actually work way better once you kind of learn and nail down this solution that I'm showing you guys right here. Because like I showed you guys a little bit earlier, you're not competing with everyone in that red ocean. Okay, so now all we got to do is we come up here to the custom audiences because remember we created that custom audience and then we created that lookalike audience from the custom audience, right? So we had, you know, all those people like what we call Jim, right? And then it created the lookalike audience of people that look like Jim or very similar to him. And we click right here and then you can see right here the lookalike 1% US, okay, 25% video view and then name of video. Okay, you can see the size, it says fewer than a thousand people. That's just because it's still pre-populating. So you don't need to worry about that. So we click on that and then it's going to say potential reach unavailable. Just, that's just because we just created it. So don't worry, don't freak out. Like I, I do this all the time, guys, and it'll pre-populate. And once it's populated, it'll update and Facebook will just automatically set everything together. Okay, so now we come down here and honestly, I don't really even touch the age or even the gender because Facebook's already identified these people that look like this ideal custom audience. Okay, so another way to look at this, guys, let's say we're not doing video views, but let's say like you're a real estate agent, because I know I've got a lot of real estate agents that watch this channel as well. What you would want to do is go and have past clients or past leads of people that you've worked with and get as big of a, an audience as possible, whether that's 100 people, 1,000 people, 5,000 people. Maybe you go and collectively get leads of past clients, of people, everyone in your office or your real estate team or whatever, just to get this ideal demographic and then upload it just like we showed you guys with the custom audience and then create a lookalike audience off of those people. Okay, so that's really like an ideal way to go through and, and set this up, especially like, let's say you kind of like hit the high end homes market, right? Of people that buying one or two or $3 million homes. That's a really good way to go through and give Facebook this audience and this data of people they can create a look like audience off of, of that you're going to have similar incomes, similar behaviors, similar like interests of buying those expensive homes. Okay. So that's just like one thing I wanted to kind of share there. And so languages, I don't touch anything detailed targeting. Guys, I really don't even touch any of this, okay? And then this is one where I always uncheck. I just have seen it works better. I, I, I've tested it a lot, so I would just highly recommend that. And then coming down here, as far as placements go, you guys know, if you guys have been watching this channel, I like to come down to edit placements, and I would like to just target the Facebook news feeds. And then even, if you're really wanting to branch out and target more people, you can even do the Instagram news feeds, okay? Now, once you go through and it's all about testing, right? Like once you find that, okay, the Facebook news feeds are working, the Instagram news feeds are working, you can go through and test out other placements. Like don't, don't think like this is the only way to do it. I have some campaigns where I go through and I'll test out all the different placements. But 
I like to first start with a smaller amount So I usually start like with $50 a day the test out is is this even a winning ad? Are people gonna react and engage with this within this audience? So I'll start at the Facebook news feeds because I know that works the best and then from there once I know it works then I'll expand it to you know maybe a hundred two hundred dollars a day and I'll hit more of these placements Okay, so now coming down We hit this uh, the budget and schedule Obviously, this just depends on your guys budget literally you can go through and start with as much as a hundred dollars a day Just fine with the two million audience person audience um, lots of you guys might not have that budget right away and if you don't know if your ads really going to convert or not, I probably wouldn't start there. I'd probably start at, uh, depending on your budget, I'd probably start at like $20, $25 or even $10 if you've got a smaller budget, right? And $10 a day with the 2 million person audience, guys, you can let that run pretty much all year round and you're not going to see that ad really fatigue because it's a pretty big audience for such a small daily budget for your ad spend. Okay, so coming down, we just do conversions. And then that's it guys. We just hit continue. We set up the ad hit confirm um, Confirm purchase and we are done. I think it's gonna have me name the Maybe name the thing or something like that. I'm not sure why it's not going to hit continue. Oh my it's just my internet there. So so anyway we go create the ad and uh, Let's just say we were gonna use an existing post just so we can go through this whole process for you guys So we'll say this post right here that I did and then I just hit confirm now It's saying like my my ad is not gonna run because I've got way too much text Which I typically wouldn't run this exact post as an ad or anything like that it Says objective of campaign requires creative with external link or call to action Yeah, so I've got to add a, like a link and all that stuff But anyway, you guys kind of get the idea of what's going on of going through and creating that your own blue ocean Okay, because you are the only person that has that custom data of your past clients your past leads people have interacted with your Facebook page have shown interest in you Okay, so now instead of competing with that red ocean of everyone of that interest targeting that Facebook's doing away with a lot of it Anyway, this is the best strategy to go through and use for your business, right? So also with that said guys if you guys are brand new here to the channel um, If you guys like this video first of all give it a thumbs up comment down below I did go a little bit slower some of you guys might be thinking like you went slower on this you still went pretty fast, right? But I did go um, quite a bit slower, which I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope that was helpful for me to break it down a little bit slower format um, And uh, also if you guys are brand new here Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because we launch new videos pretty much every single week I've actually been in a little bit of a lull which I apologize guys quick update about three weeks ago I was at the lake and I tore my ACL wakeboarding which it's not too fun. So I had about a week where I was just kind of like, you know, kind of babying my knee and I, I actually scheduled my surgery this morning. So I'll get my surgery in about a month, which has nothing to do with shooting videos. But this past week for the 4th of July, my wife and I went with her family out to Oklahoma to a lake out there. Oklahoma, out of all places, it was crazy, but it was actually really nice, uh, fun time. But I just kind of sat on the boat. So that's why I haven't shot any videos last week or two. But the whole week I was actually working on this Facebook ads live training right here So like I said guys if you guys are wanting to attend that I'm gonna drop a link down in the description as well as in the comment section You guys can go through and register for that but for the live training Wednesday July 18th at 12 p.m. Eastern time 9 a.m. Pacific time and then if you guys are watching this video after that then I'll just add a link to register for the recording of that Okay, now I want to do this live because then you guys can ask questions. It's gonna be super awesome helpful um, But then obviously, you know, I can't do it live just like every single day, which I would love to but um, Just don't have time for that. So anyway guys Hopefully this was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up drop a comment down below if you're brand new here subscribe um, Hit that notification bell and with that said guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you all later